Hi, I'm Mike from Frodo Sleeping, and if I got to choose a dream tour that we would do with the Scorpions uh, headlining because I grew up with them, they're my favorite 80s artist. Arena Rock was fucking huge for me, and no singer, even myself, I feel like nobody can live up to the standards that those motherfuckers held, you know, have or, you know, still hold. And I would put us at number four just because that would be fucking cool to be direct support for from the Scorpions. Number three would be leading through because they fucking really influenced me on starting music. It was just fucking heavy. It didn't give a fuck. Like, he wrote what was on his mind, and it was just something that was very fucking cool to me, and I'll always hold them in a special place. I put fucking Darkest Hour underneath them because they're still one of my favorite fucking bands as of today. They have a long-lasting career, and I've been touring, and I know how fucking hard it is, and I can't even imagine what those fucking dudes go through on a fucking daily basis. And then underneath them, it would be Barrier Dead, and it's impossible to put, you know, in place these bands, but Barrier Dead being such a huge influence on the fucking scene, and I still listen to them. I picked up their latest record, Mosh and Roll, and it's just fucking heavy. It doesn't give a fuck. He says whatever the hell he wants, and he doesn't give a shit how he looks. He can look how he wants. And most artists don't have that nowadays. People will tell them what to fucking do. And to have somebody that still has a mindset on, no, this is me, this is my music, and I'm gonna play what I fucking want, then, you know, that's just the fucking best thing. Somebody that can speak the truth. Fuck yeah.